Hello, Christian Livingstone here, and I'm just about to go into the garden here. I've got a, a large melon garden, and uh, I'm going to focus on when to know when the uh, watermelons are ready. You know, I've got a lot more rows uh, of uh, cantaloupe. The, this variety I plant uh, is called uh, Sugar Cube, and it's real easy to know when they're ready. When they turn this pale color, boom. A little pressure on the uh, stem and the vine pops right off. It's called the slip on these cantaloupe, but on watermelons it's a little trickier. You have to cut the vine and you kind of have to know what the signs are. And some varieties of uh, watermelon have different signs. You know, uh, a common one is, you know, checking the underside color, but not every uh, melon has the same uh, undercolor sign. And this variety that I've uh, planted is called... Uh, You're talking to. I'm talking to the camera. You want to get in the shot? Yeah. All right. Don't touch the camera, though. What do I have to do? Just look in the camera. Let me see if you can see yourself in the camera. Okay, don't touch it. Yeah, this is Braxton. This is the uh, landlord's boy. He uh, was helping me out in the garden. I uh, allotted uh, one row to, to their family. Uh, you know, since I'm watering and doing all this stuff, they can put whatever they want there. And, and little Braxton here, he uh, put a bunch of seeds in a bunch of spots uh, for uh, lettuce. So his mama's going to be pretty happy. Um, I've been working on my tree house, and I'm a really good builder, so... Well, all right. Sell it. Sell it, boy. You, you've been building and fixing the no, tree. No, I'm not selling it. I'm building it, and I'm going to do something. Okay. okay, so what I'm talking about here is the watermelons. Now, you helped me today, and I gave you something. What I give you? Um, what? A watermelon. I gave you a watermelon. That was okay. the very first watermelon. Let me tell you. I helped Christian, and he gave me one of his watermelons. Okay, don't touch it. No touching. And action. So, yeah, that's what uh, uh, we were waiting for, for when the watermelons were ready. And was that one ready? Yes. Did it taste good? It tastes very good. It was very delicious. Okay, so, but we're not going to just take our word for that. We're going to go over into the garden and look for some more. So you can see it. You can verify it with us. We will do it right in the field, right in the garden. And what that means is we're going to go pick some more. We're going to cut them open right out there. And we're just going to make sure that we know what we're talking about. Because we kind of don't always know what we're talking about. This is, this is kind of new for me, too. I've only had this garden here about three or four years. And, you know, like I said, the cantaloupes are easy, but the watermelons are tougher. I've got uh, four rows of uh, cantaloupe out here. And I've been picking them for, for about 30 days now. Now, cantaloupes, the maturation from seed to uh, uh, ready is about 90 days. But on uh, watermelons, it's about 120 days. Yeah, what do you got? Um, okay, tell them. Watermelons are really tasty, and you can eat them all you want to. Yoo-hoo! Okay, so let's do that. Let's uh, go over to where the watermelons are, and, and let's look uh, for maybe two of them to pick. And, uh, and maybe you can watch with us. That's right. That's right. And I've got some guests coming over tonight to watch a movie, and that's kind of why I want to get out there now. i got a couple hours before they're going to get here, and... Uh, you know, I've already sliced up some cantaloupe, but I want to make sure maybe there's uh, some watermelon for them, too. So? And that's, uh, you know, it's it's really the two gals left and, and myself. Oh, you want to interject? Go ahead. Um, you actually want to watch or not? Um, you can do whatever you want. You can watch or not. That's right. We're not demanding that you watch, and uh, but you may enjoy it. And uh, it may actually... Uh, you know, prompt you to think um, about uh, planting melons. And this, uh, you see the white right here? This is Charlie, my dog. And he's really helpful, and he's a good dog. <laughs> good doggy.
Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to head out there. You watch us. Yeah, we're going right now. Okay, so here's the garden. If you haven't seen it before, uh, I've got seven rows. These first two were laid out for the melons, but we're not using them for melons anymore. So it's not really the best use of space. You can see we got well water here, so we can water all we want, not worry about what the cost is. There's uh, four rows of the uh, cantaloupe, and that furthest row down there is the watermelon. So, action. What'd you say? Action. Action. Okay, action. Here we are. We're in the uh, melon uh, row, and this is the uh, watermelon row. And there's a cluster of three melons right here in these vines, and. Uh, you know, there's a little shadow, a little light, so, you know, it's, it's hard to detect them, but they're, they're here. Here's a big one, here's a big one, and that furthest one is the one I'm thinking uh, might be the best one to pluck. They all look like they're about 20 pounds, so let's go uh, take a look and see if we can detect some of the signs that they're ready. And uh, with this one here, one of the first signs I look for is these tendrils and you know when the, well you just wait uh, these tendrils when they're brown about three down that's usually a real good sign and so there's uh, one brown the first brown uh, tendril down uh, below there's there's another one that's that's brown and dying that means the the plant is is not feeding this so much anymore and another uh, sign that you can tell is uh, just that the plant uh, starts to yellow. You know, when the vine is uh, uh, beyond its, uh, you know, 120 days, the whole plant seems to uh, start to uh, get a little yellow. And, and that tells you, you know, you'll know before then. But anyway, uh, so the brown tendrils, uh, I'm thinking that uh, melon right there is uh, ready to pluck. So uh, the tendrils look good uh, uh, and brown going down. The time is about right, uh, about 120 days or more has elapsed uh, since I first put the seeds in here. And as you can see, the melons are uh, just about their uh, uh, maximum size, you know, the, that the variety calls for. These, these don't get, uh, you know, humongous. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. I sometimes will also Can I look... Can my question? Oh yeah, you have a question? Uh, like you see uh, those things over there, uh, some turtles and like bugs eat them. You don't want to eat those parts. You just want like throw them in your garden and they start to break. So you could do that. Uh, That's right. There's a lot of cast offs with the, uh, uh, with the cantaloupe, but not so much for these melons. If we get these right, we won't be throwing away so many of these. Oh, you want to get in the camera some more? Um, those things over there, um, I was going to, these are not, those things over there are not like, um, they're on trees, but they're not like fruit. They're, they're little round balls and they're poisonous, so don't eat those. All right, I won't. Okay, let's get back to the melon here, and uh, let's go ahead and just do that. Let's, uh, whoa, whoa. what? Hey, nice. Oh, it's just a knife. I'm not going to kill you. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut the vine and the stem and get it over here. Here's the underside of that baby, and on these, you know, it, it looks white. Now, I've planted other varieties that, uh, you know, they'll yellow and orange up underneath, but th these tend to be white, and to me, on this variety, the underside is, is not very indicative of uh, ripeness, but, uh, you know, there it is. That's, uh, that's what it looks like underneath. And uh, also, sometimes you'll, you'll get some dull, uh, a dull spot on top, and that'll tell you. So, I'm going to cut this baby open just so we can demonstrate it. <gasps> and I'll even uh, take a, a, a bite of it. You want to be the cameraman for a minute? You want to hold this camera? Yeah! You can hold the camera, but just make sure you're, you're taking, you see the knife. You see the knife? I don't see yeah. it. No, you're not pointing it at the... That's what I'm doing here. Can you see me cutting it now? Yeah. All right. So, 
Um, Get some air. There we go. So, Christian's cutting this open and... Oh boy. Does and it, do you know my favorite... Does it look good or what? Yeah, it does. Oh man. And, I'm going to go right at the heart of the melon there and take and it And do you know what's my favorite fruit? Watermelon. Mmm. I got me a little piece of the heart of the melon and I'll I'll be as objective as I can and tell you what I think. Beautiful. Beautiful. Super sweet. It might even be just a tad overripe because it's not quite as crisp. A little bit of graininess, but I think it's right in the ballpark. It's delicious. And you, and you actually see these seeds. Uh, you can plant watermelon. You actually have some. You can plant more and more watermelon, and you can actually plant more. You mean just from the seeds? Yeah. We can take these seeds out and plant more? Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Just seeds. We don't have to buy the seeds. We can just use these ones, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're zooming in and doing all that stuff, huh? You're turning into a cameraman. But if you get too close, it's no good. So back, back out. See? They can't see anything. Back out, back out, hey back there. out some more. That's still pretty close. See, that's good. And they can see my hand. No, that's too close. They can see your hand. Your no, hand. that's too much. Hey, um, um, I'm trying to get them to the seeds. Oh, oh you're focusing on the seeds. Okay. Uh, those are the seeds right there. And you actually see the seeds like these. There's some black ones and there's some white ones. I don't know if the black ones are good or the, the white ones are. I don't know. The white ones are pretty good now, but you actually see these in the watermelon. You might want to plant them. Well, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Braxton. You did a good job as the cameraman. I needed another pair of hands, and uh, you did uh, quite well. Okay, so uh, what do we think? Do, you know, are we going to be able to pick most of these and uh, they'll be right? Can we move over there, too? No, no, those are the cantaloupe. We don't care about those now. Why? So anyway, I am just going to, uh, you know, declare a victory that, uh, you know, between those tendril signs, the, uh, the age of the plant, uh, the 120 days uh, is usually indicative of that. Just the size, you know, the variety, how big it's going to get. Um, you actually uh, want watermelon? Just pick them. Just pick them. Okay, you heard it first. Just pick them. <laughs> yeah, I'm the cameraman. Good job. To talk right now. That's right. We're going to end with some closing uh, remarks about uh, what we did out there by learning when to pick the watermelons. Because what happens when you pick them too soon? What do they look like inside? Yeah. Yeah. What, what color do they look like? Are they nice and red? Yep. No, when you pick them before they're ready. Are yeah. they red? Yeah. yeah. What color? Green. Green and white and white. Yeah. It looked icky, didn't it? So, tomorrow we maybe do the tree house. Uh, my tree house. We maybe <laughs> talk about that. So. <laughs> okay. Same, same, same. Yeah, thank you. We had uh, an impromptu guest here, Braxton, and, uh, you know, he's... Uh, uh, always interested in stuff that's going on and in some of my activities and uh, I think he, he wants to draw me into uh, the Braxton show over at his tree house. It's a pretty cool tree house. It's nice big and red. You want to take a quick run over there real quick? And yeah, why don't you take the camera? Huh? The camera? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, let's take the camera. Can we talk uh, for a little bit about my tree house? Yep. All right, start, start running. All right, talk about your tree house. We're going there now. So my tree house, this is my tree house. Right here. Very nice. And so this tree house is, um, inside there's a lot of, like little beehives and butt highs. Those are uh, like dirt over there, the soil. Uh, they're like for the walk. With the oh, the wasps, they make their nests with the mud, huh? Yep, so, um, I'll, uh, right down there, there's my wood shop. And All right. 
I'm going to start zooming in on you so you're still close. So, um, I'm a little bit working to do on it. All right, get busy, boy. <laughs> yeah, you get right up in there, huh? Here's my, uh, festival tree house. You could like see some leaves up there and I'm going to use that wood over there. Show tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you, Braxton.